Okay. So let's try this. Uh, let's do the, yeah, this one. Um, so it says classify these physical, these properties, classify these properties as either chemical properties or physical properties, okay? So um, the boiling point of ethanol, is that gonna be a chemical or a physical property? Physical. Yeah, that's a physical property. Because you're just going from, uh, what do you say, uh, liquid to a gas, right? It's still ethanol. Is everybody okay with that explanation? Uh, the temperature at which dry ice sublimes, what is that one? Physical as well, right? Same thing, and su except sublimation, you're going from a solid to a gas. Um, flammability of ethyl alcohol? Chemical. Chemical, right? At that point, right, since you're reacting it with oxygen in this case, Right, you're changing it to something else, carbon dioxide and water, okay? So you can't get that ethanol back. How about this one though? This one I think is pretty interesting, the smell of a perfume. So you might think chemical, you might think physical. So, well, no, it's not both, it's one or the other. Which one do you think it is? Physical, it's physical, okay? Why is it physical? The better way to think about it is that uh, when you smell the molecule, it's not like reacting with your nose, okay? It's just interacting with it, okay? So there's no reaction going on. And that molecule is still the same after it, your nose, it touches your nose and then your nose can release it or whatever. So um, this is actually a physical property because you're not changing the structure of the molecule, okay? So I think that one's pretty interesting. Any questions? Okay. If your nose actually reacted with it, right, then it would be different, okay?